Okay, this is going to be a quick video for anyone that has a vintage Singer sewing machine. It doesn't have to be a 201 like this one happens to be. But uh, some people ask me what type of needle to use in their sewing machine. And I am basically using a... Let me get this adjusted. Okay, I'm usually when I'm testing and setting up a sewing machine, I use a size 14 needle. That's basically a middle of the road needle that'll work on just about anything. I'm going to come over here to the book that came with my 201 and just try to brighten it up a little bit. Okay. Now, if you want to pause the video, you'll be able to see what Singer recommends with their sewing machines as far as needle size and the type of work you're going to be doing and the type of thread you should be using. And this machine is from the 1950s, so it doesn't matter if it's a old black Singer 66 or a 99 or a 201 or a 15 91. They all are going to use the same needle. And then I'll come over here. This is kind of the variety of needles that you can get. You don't have to buy this brand. Schmetz. It's a German brand. I'm actually just buy packs of these organ needles. Uh, it's a 90-14. 90 is the European size and 14 is the American size and it's just a regular needle that's flat on one side makes it easy to put in the machine and then this uh, this if I can get at it here this package right here will show kind of demonstrate size 10 is a very thin needle small for fine work size 14 is a bigger needle for heavier work and then if I would recommend that people go to a size 16 for like blue jeans that's a size 16 needle and then a size 18 for blue jeans also or maybe if you're going to try to do some light leather with a heavier thread just so you're not bending your uh, needle when you're trying to get the leather to go through your machine yeah it's pretty simple the the small numbers like the 11 is for fine work it just means the shaft of the needle is going to be thinner the needle is still the same length and is still the same style as far as flat on one side so yeah that's just kind of a quick overview of what kind of needle to use in your vintage sewing machine. Alright, thanks for watching.